Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today is day number 75 after having gastric bypass surgery. So we have 25 days until we reach 100 days past surgery. I think what I'm going to do is on a 100, we're going to have a celebration video of just 100 days after surgery and just like a recap of everything I've learned, what I've experienced, um, you know, advice I would give people and just kind of like an overview over the first 100 days, you know, because 100 days people think oh that's not very long it's just a little over three months but going through something like gastric bypass surgery a lot of stuff happens in 100 days so i think it's important that we're going to go through that i believe so so if you guys have any questions or anything that you'd like me to add in the video let me know in the comments below i will definitely look at it and i'll probably put it in there because it's definitely going to need an answer so i'll be more likely to put it in there so how are you guys today I don't know about you guys, but yesterday it was about 50 degrees or 53 degrees, and today it's below 20. What the heck, man? Like, I'm so sick of it being nice for a day, and then it's freezing cold for like two weeks. It's getting on my nerves, really. So, I notice whenever I lose weight, you know, especially this much, I've lost 60 pounds as of yesterday. Um, the more weight that comes off the more i want to go out and do more the more i want to do things i didn't get to do before because of how heavy i was because let's just be honest like i said several times in videos before when you are really overweight um it slows you down and it prevents you from stuff you know you're either slowing people down or you're really tired you're sore your back hurts your knees hurt ankles hurt or um you're really sweaty just doing the, like the most minimum thing and you're just in a pile of sweat under your arms under the folds or under your midsection or wherever you're at under your bra line you know it it's embarrassing and it keeps you from things not only that but you know something that over, people who are overweight and obese know um is that when you are overweight you tend to get invited to less things you're left out of stuff uh, people treat you differently when you're overweight, um, that kind of thing. And that got me thinking about something else. I wonder how people are going to be treating me like strangers when all this weight is gone. You know, because let's just be honest, people who are fat and overweight, obese, whatever you want to call it, there are a lot of times where we will get treated poorly or not taken seriously or, you know people are rude to us or make us feel uncomfortable or make us feel like we're just not wanted around because we're overweight like my mom you know she has told me several times since she's lost all her weight from her surgery that people have treated her differently you know people are a lot, lot nicer people are more sociable that kind of thing and i think that's just terrible but that's the world we live in you know if you don't look a certain look or you don't have a certain thing you're treated differently it's terrible whether it's color of your skin or whatever religion you are or if you're fat or not it, it's terrible it's like why can't we just be simple normal human beings and just leave each other alone and then when we are around each other and we have to be just use basic mannerism you know don't be rude why why does why do you have to look a certain way to be treated a certain way that's stupid that's dumb but anyways you know, I can't really speak for too many people, but, you know, as someone who is still obese, you know, and who is not as obese as I was, I can say for people who have a weight problem, yeah, we are treated differently. You know, I've mentioned before in other videos that I had a job opportunity. I was going to make good money. The first day they let me go because somebody pulled me aside and said, well, I don't think this is right for you because we feel that you're going to be a problem to our company. And I'm like what are you talking about it's not like i'm drunk at work or something i don't drink but it's like i'm not drunk or anything what are you talking about i'm not causing a scene i'm doing you know safety according to osha and stuff what are you talking about though you know they didn't exactly tell me but then eventually i figured out what it was because i'm overweight and, I, and like, where i was working the building i was at i was seeing everybody i was the only one there that was overweight and i i pieced it together it's like, I'm not stupid. You could tell, I mean, I could tell that's what they meant. It's, people just treat you poorly. And the thing that gets me is 
if that's how you guys honestly felt, why did you have me go all the way, job interview, uh, coming into orientation, and doing the training, and then starting work, and then let me go on the first day? That, so I still don't understand why. It's like, why didn't, why didn't you just have the interview and then just tell me you're not interested? You know, when you're overweight, people just treat you poorly. They do. It's terrible. You know, not all people do. You know, there are a lot of people that have fat friends or they go out with somebody or marry someone that's overweight. Sure, whatever. But a lot of people treat us poorly. You know, it's terrible. And that's something that I will never, ever um, let take over me when all this weight is gone. Like when I lose all the weight and I look the way I need to, how I feel like I need to look. You know, people are probably going to be treating me differently when I go to a store or I'm at some kind of event. And I'm always going to remind myself, nine times out of ten, if I still looked the way I did before surgery, you would not be talking to me. You would not be so nice to me. You would not be interested in my presence. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to be interested in you either. But I can't really say that for everybody because not everybody's that way, you know. But that's how I'm going to feel, especially if it's a guy. Like, I'm married, you know, and I'm not out looking for somebody else. It's nothing like that. But, like, you know, when you're attractive and nice looking and skinnier, you know, you get more attention. You know, there will probably be a time or two where I'm probably going to end up saying, you know, if I looked like this and have a picture, you would not be talking to me. So, not just that, but I'm happily married, so I'm really not interested. Thank you. No. I'm trying to do it in the nicest way possible because I'm trying to still be realistic about stuff. You know, if you're overweight or, you know, you have um, been discriminated against for whatever reason, you know, I apologize for that because I know how exactly how that feels. It hurts. And it's like, why can't we just get along and just have basic mannerism and just leave each other alone? I mean, come on. It's like, are you that bored and insecure in yourself that you have to go ruin somebody else's life? What? ridiculous you know well anyway just know that I would never do that the only reason why I wouldn't want to be around somebody or be somebody's friend or anything is if you abuse people animals elders kids or you're a big-time criminal or rapist animal herder whatever um, things like that other than that I don't care what you look like I don't care what religion you are I don't I don't care you know, you could polka dotted, you could have five eyes on your face. I wouldn't care. I don't care about that. Well, anyways, that's kind of a rant for the day. Um, I haven't had anything to eat today. Uh, I decided I'm going to go um, on a two-day liquid diet again because I'm starting to get a little comfortable with eating regular food. Like yesterday, I had a six-inch sub, and um, that got me thinking, okay, I didn't get sick from that. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to go back into my old habits and say, oh, since I was able to have that sandwich, I guess I can have other stuff. Because I started to think that yesterday. And I thought, uh-oh, no, 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 no. That's how we got in this problem in the first place. So I need to take a step back and say, okay, we need to go back and do something else to keep you on track. So I'm going to be going on a two-day liquid diet like, like you do with pre-op. You know, because when I did pre-op, uh, the liquid diet before surgery, I lost about six pounds in the two weeks. You know, I just don't want to go back to that old habit. I feel like I need to, like, kind of re-shrink my appetite and stomach, you know, if that makes sense. Because I do not want to go back to the old way. But before surgery, my back hurt so, so bad every day since I was about 10 years old. Because I, I started to become overweight at the age of eight. You know, and um, I had problems with sleeping, and I was always hot and sweaty, um, no energy, and just feeling really negative all the time. I was the negative Nancy all the time. It's gotten better, but I still have to work on it a bit. So I feel like I need to take a step back, and that's okay. It's good to realize that and say, all right, if that's what we need to do, then that's what we need to do. It's called discipline, you know. And there's nothing wrong with catching that. It's better to catch it and do that than to slip up, get in trouble, and then you have a real problem. Okay? So after that, I'm just feeling fine. Um, let's see what time it is. Oh, about 4.30 or... No, can't tell time. 
440, never mind. 440 in the afternoon. I just had a shower. I need to dry my hair because it's cold out here. But other than that, I hope you guys are doing okay. I know this video was a little bit longer. I had a little rant. So I just want to just, you know, point out the obvious in life. You know, I mean, this is a supporting channel, but I also like to point out realistic things that go on, you know, and it's just to, in a way, stick up for people, you know, we need that in life. It seems like everything in life now is all about bringing other people down just to bring yourself up. It doesn't need to be that way. If that's what you need to do, then you just need to just sit and be quiet, really, and figure out your problem instead of ruining other people's life. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to play some PlayStation 4, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.